Good morning. My name is uh, Richard Clem. I'm a local Washington County historian, and I'd like this morning to give you a little history of the O.J. Smith Farm, which would be to my right. It was used as a hospital following the Battle of Antietam. Mr. Smith's barn stood in this hollow you see right here. It was a thatched roof. There were soldiers in there, mostly from the First Corps, some Confederates, but the Confederates was mostly left outside uh, in tents. And this, this hospital site was a mystery for many, many years, after the, even after the battle. No one knew exactly where the O.J. Smith farm was until William Frosinito, a historian from Gettysburg, also a military intelligence in the Marine Corps, was, did a book on Antietam, trying to find the spots where Alexander Gardner had taken after the battle. Gardner worked for Matthew Brady. And uh, Mr. Frosinito was coming across this, the Mansfield Road here one morning, headed for the battlefield, and he happened to notice the soldiers around this old barn. And he thought, maybe that's a Smith barn. So he got to the point where he looked at the mountain ranges. In, in um, Alexander Gardner's photographs, in the background of the South Mountain Range, Frosinito picked up on it. Those ranges today indicate an exact shape and location of where that barn stood. The houses themselves was in behind the barn. You couldn't see them in the photograph. And down through the hollow, it showed an artesian well in the original photograph that you can't see from this angle. That well is still there today. So we're almost positive this was the O.J. Smith Hospital site. And like I said, most of these soldiers was wounded at Bloody Lane and brought to the rear. And there's a picture of Dr. Hurd, I think from Indiana, shows in his, he, he took four separate sh shots, uh, area, uh, views of the farm, and shows Dr. Hurd walking amongst the hospital tents. With these, they had the muskets buried in the ground with a bayonet, buried in the ground, and tents stretched up across them. They were all Confederate soldiers. There weren't too many there, maybe 30 or 40, but the story was the barn was full of the Union wounded. And they figured a lot of the soldiers was taken that died there was buried behind me along this ridge on this hillside. Due to the diseases and things of that nature, they were buried instantly so the disease and stuff wouldn't spread.